Alright guys, I've been asked to show you how I've done the mould. So this is just the frame I made for the plastic. Cut it to shape. Just clipped it on. Got my mould ready to go. Got my cast on there, ready to go. Got the air dryer. All I use is the air gun. Alright, I don't use heating elements or anything like that. It's just the air gun at the moment. Makes this soft and pliable, but not too soft and runny. One of the guys was saying he was getting creasing around here and all that. Plastic might be a bit too soft for that because it all just bunches up. So if you leave it a little bit uh, stiffer, it will only come collapse down, as you'll see when I do it later, um, not as tight as what it can be. Um, I find that works for me. Uh, and you can still clip in and out the, um, the lower bodies from the covers um, so yeah uh, I'm going to put the vacuum cleaner on in a minute and start heating up so it's going to get really noisy so I'll probably just pause it here and then get it ready to rock and roll And there you go, there's a mould. Pretty happy with that. It'll clip in, clip out. Um, I actually use the pot rivets here to hold my 
fishing lures so they stay upright so um, they don't move around on me um, it's just simple um, you're gonna cut most of that gonna cut most of this off anyway along here so you got hold of the bib when you do it um, there's enough there along the back there you leave all this circle it out but that gives you a line for along that lateral line so you can do your marks all the way up to there um, but yeah no, that works pretty well so what I'll do now is I'll probably cut that out cut straight up across here and then that's that one done ready to rock and roll um, I'll do another side for you um, just so you can see what I do um, probably didn't have this one quite as hot as what I normally would but um, I'll do the next one a little bit hotter yep. done this one got a bit hotter so it's a little bit more surrounded that's the v-ing i think you were talking about before that's not too bad because i cut that off there anyway so not relatively happy with that all right i'll show you what they look like once i've cut them out 
Okay guys, I've cut this one out. This is the first one I've done. It's a bit loose, it's not clipping in, but that's alright. Just hold it with my thumb, spray what I want to do. Once I've cut out the pattern on there, that's what I want. That's all good. Alright, less chance of scratching your paintwork once you've done that. This one's a little bit tight. Still going to try and use it. Just uh, move that out of the way. Cut that out so that slides in and cut a bit more off there. So that just clips into place. That's holding on. Do the same, cut on this side. But the higher chance of scratching paintwork when it's this tight. So I might still just cut it along there. Just to, so it's not so much of a tight clip. And then you just roll it out. And it's all done. And that's how I made my jigs. My uh, stencils. Uh, I'll do another video of how, to, how I cut out uh, the slots and the patterns on there. Alright, thanks for watching guys.